Welcome to Altcoin Facts with Crypto Preaching Pedro. Today what I want to do, I want to talk a little bit about the markets and about what happens when the markets possibly go down. Every market doesn't just keep going up. Every market, whether it's traditional financing or not, they go up and they come back down. They retrace. That's normal. That's healthy. Bitcoin was pretty much free. You could mine it. Afterwards, it went up to 29 cents, went to a dollar, went to five, six hundred dollars, went to a thousand, went to a couple thousand, went to 20,000. Now we're at 50,000. The beautiful thing about it is that it, it always increases and then it retraces. Retracement is perfectly healthy for anything. Why? When it retraces, it creates an opportunity for those individuals that missed out to buy. That's called accumulation. So as accumulation happens at that price range, what happens, it, it, it builds a resistance level. So as it goes up, it comes back down and it touches and then it uses that resistance to springboard us to the next level, which is fantastic. Now, when Bitcoin retraces, typically the altcoins will also retrace. Now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? It depends on your outlook. If you're a day trader, which uh, I'm not, then you'd, you'd probably um, be kind of upset, I guess because you want to make those gains really quick and flip those projects because all you care is about the profit. Me, I care about the projects and I care about the product that they're going to deliver. So I'm more of a long-term hodler. Because of this reason, I think that those retracements are good because those retracements create opportunities. Opportunities for me to possibly pick up on some of those projects that maybe went up too quick, too fast because of all the hype because of all the new people overpaying and overbuying and not letting the projects cool off so there could be a good entry point. Well, those great entry points were just created. Take advantage of them. Take advantage of them because, you know, they'll come, but they won't come often. The beautiful thing about it as well is that these moments are the moments where the markets slow down a little bit, where some of the new projects that launch, they launch and they launch at a fair price which gives people like me and you the opportunity to go in at a good buying price so that we can make some profit the problem is when the markets are hot everyone's buying everyone's happy everybody's fomoing in the fear of missing out so they're overpaying for everything so if you want to make a decent profit it's hard because every project that should be let's say 25 cents it's four dollars already so there goes some of your profit. Please understand, the best thing to do around these times is not to panic. Be strong. Have those diamond hands that, that we need, those diamond hands to hold firmly and hold strong because you believe in those projects. And then research the heck out of those projects that you want so that these moments, when they dip, you take the opportunity and you make some gains. Another important thing that I need to say is that if you're worried, if you're really worried about your profit at this time in these moments it's probably because you're actually investing more than you can afford to lose never never invest more than you can afford to lose the wonderful part about cryptocurrency it's not like shares you don't have to buy a whole share you can buy five bucks ten bucks twenty bucks thirty bucks fifty bucks a hundred bucks that's the beautiful part about it that it doesn't have to be a lot you can slowly accumulate what you can afford like this you can put it you can park it and forget about it you know, that's that's the best thing out, out, out of sight, out of mind. Um, but just make sure that you're picking the right projects, the projects that you convinced yourself about. Don't sweat and don't overinvest. So like this, you don't worry when Bitcoin has a pullback like this. You can rest easy knowing that, you know what? I'm in it for the long run. This next week, this next month is not important because you know what? I want to see that project succeed. And I want to see my project, the coin that I purchased, the altcoin, go up 100 or 1,000 X. Because that happens. This is the blockchain. This is a reality. Now, I'm going to take you briefly and show you some of the projects that I personally am looking at and why I'm looking at them. Let's get to it. Now, I'm going to let you see firsthand what it is that I look for or, or what I do. For instance, Theta. Theta is a platform for streaming similar to YouTube, and it's been doing fantastic. I mean, it's been on a tear. If we look here from the beginning of the year, 
So it's been out since 2018 because they've been developing and now they launched their mainnet and now we're here in January 2021. And you see towards the end of the year from, from 2020, it started to go up and then it really went parabolic these last couple months. Um, it's it's going to probably get mass adoption because the platform is fantastic. So so what I do, what I typically do, I'll look at, I'll look at a project and I'll say, which other project is similar to Theta? So now I look here towards the middle and I see the tags and it says media, collectibles, NFTs, content creation and video. So now I'm on CoinMarketCap. So what you do here, you hit currencies. And then when you hit currencies up here they're in, towards the middle, there's categories. You, you click on categories, then you go down. So now what I'm looking for, I'm looking for content creation, which is one and video. Okay, which is another one. Okay, let's check out videos because this is more of a video streaming. So now on here, I can see that there's a couple different platforms. I already know that movie block is kind of high. It's ranked 323. So I pass it up. I looked at all these different platforms, but one that I hadn't really looked at before was Pop Network. And Pop Network, what I like about it is that it's a it's a very high risk coin. And the reason that I like high risk coins, number one, because of the upside. If it's a good project and they're developing, the upside could be exponential. Now, one bad thing, but a good thing at the same at the same time, is that it's only trading on one exchange, Probit Exchange. Now, the bad thing about it is that there's gonna there's not gonna be as much liquidity. So if you ever want to sell in, in the near future, it's gonna be harder to sell because of the lack of liquidity. Now, the good part about it is that because it's on just one exchange, it's gonna limit the people buying and it's gonna keep the price down, which means if you can get it, you're gonna be able to get it for quite a while at a decent price so you can accumulate. What I like about the website is that they're very professional. They have a lot of content and it's very easy to read. Now, what I typically look for, I, I want projects or I like projects that have been around for a while. This project has been around since 2016 and you can see all the timelines and all the targets that they've hit. The most recent one was the Masternode staking release, the Ranger release. And next in, in first quarter of 2022 is going to be the mainnet. So now that I looked at the website, I want to see if this is just a hype or if there's actual holders. So what I will typically do, I'll go on the Explorer, I'll click on it, and here towards the middle, towards the left hand side, you'll see holders. Holders is 3,693, which tells me there's real people that believe in this project. There's 3,693 3, holders or wallets. So to me, this is a coin that I would definitely invest in because the upside is really exponential. Now, the next project that I looked at was Audius. Why Audius? I, I really do like real world projects and products, real world projects that could possibly get mass adoption, real world projects and products where we have real, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube, no matter what it is that can possibly be used by the masses. Well, Audius is a music streaming platform and Audius is selling for 175. Now Audius is on Audius is on Solana platform, which is fantastic. So now the tags here is music. So now we can go back to cryptocurrencies. We're going to go to categories and we're going to go into music. So when I came to music, of course, I seen bits on. It wasn't up this high earlier, but right away it caught my attention. First, bit song, which is a good name. It's catchy. The next, what I did, what I did, I went into the Ether scan, and I see that there's nearly 4,000 wallets, 3,997 wallets, which is great. It's not a pump and dump. Then I looked at the release date. Actually, released the 21st, which is great. So that tells me that possibly this coin has not gone up. So there's a lot of potential. Well, 
I went to the website and the music player and guess what it is a working product they have music they may not have it in your region right now but it's up and it's running fantastic love it now after further research I did find out that the actual project from going to the telegram and the Twitter they're on Cosmos Cosmos is a fantastic platform it's a, it's it's comparable with Solana so both those projects are, are in great um, platforms they just and the great thing about Bitsong they just recently launched their mainnet so that tells you that from this point on it's only going to be progress and expansion so as you can tell here this is selling at 12 cents where Audius is selling at one dollar and 74 cents to me this is like a no-brainer this is a project that I would definitely definitely invest a little when you do invest go lightly never go all in diversify your investments don't be greedy because greedy will get you burned it's better to find a good project you diversify yourself you you keep an eye on the project if you see progress if you see more exchanges coming up well that's when you go in a little a little deeper you put in another fifty dollars another hundred dollars whatever you can afford now bitsong is only trading on uniswap which is uniswap is pretty big even though it's one exchange mo most of the individuals that are in the cryptocurrency they realize that it's an exchange that they can buy at any moment at any time the bad thing about uniswap at this moment that the fees for trading because it's an ethereum are really high but individuals buying or investing they realize okay if i'm gonna buy a hundred dollars and um it's gonna cost me 35 dollars fee for the transaction this coin can go up to you know a dollar fifty well it's worth buying but what they typically do they'll buy a little more so that the fee doesn't hurt as much well those are two projects that i believe are gems let me know what you think below and please don't forget to subscribe so you can get the latest videos thank you for watching altcoin facts this is crypto preaching pedro saying adios and good night